Okay, so now that you have downloaded the iNaturalist app and registered on the website, you click on the icon on your phone. Then you click the top left hand corner of your screen. That's the menu icon. And you go to the second row, you would see the word projects. You click on that, then to the top right hand corner you would see a search um, icon you click on that and in this case you type trinidad and tobago backyard bio blitz in this case i've already added it to my projects so once you have added to your projects you click the like, the menu icon to the top left hand corner again you go all the way down to that white plus sign within that green circle which says new observation um, you take a photo if you are on the field you take your photo of your plant you select like that photo um, you can take more than one photo I'll explain that in a while now on the first row you would see what did you see view suggestions you click on that Um, we are not confident enough to make a recommendation, but here are our top 10 suggestions. Um, well, I know this is Desert Rose. I had no idea that the scientific name was Adenium ubesum. Um, so I'm going to click on it. What I can do, I can press the compare icon. And this is my flower to the top, to the bottom. This is what the app is is saying what it is and yes this does look like my plant so i'm confident that it is i'm just going back and now next to that next to the desert rose you see that arrow you click on that arrow okay we don't need to add any notes in this case because um, we are confident enough that it is Adenia Mubesum, um, Desert Rose. So there you can see my location, the time, which it automatically um, captures. Um, is it captured or cultivated? Yes, it is. And then I don't need to add to projects because once once you take any observation during the BioBlitz event, it automatically goes to that um, project. Now I'm going to select that green arrow and my entry has been uploaded so what i would recommend for people who especially who don't have a good um, internet connection what you can do is take the photos at your backyard all the photos and then come in the comfort of your home so now i'm inside and i have taken some photos um earlier well yesterday and I'm going to click on new observation um, choose image this time now I'm going to choose my images um, photos camera okay and I'm going to choose three images so this was an exora plant so I'm going to choose one to show leaf arrangement one to show flower type and one to show fruit and I'm going to click on done to the top right hand corner my photos are being um, imported Again, what did I see? I click on and they're saying we're pretty sure it's in the genus um, Exora and the top suggestion was Exora coccinea. Um, again, I can click on Exora coccinea and compare, but again, I'm sure it's the jungle flame plant. I'm just going to click on select 
um, for location and time, you can change the time. And once your location is on the phone, you just click on that Find Me icon there. And it takes you to your present location. And you press the Select button. And it um, uploads your location. And that, that's it. Now you would click that green icon to upload. Let's do one more. So again, new observation, um, choose image. Um, let's do one. So again, the more pictures you take, the better. Um, what other picture do I have here? Okay, this picture here. What did you see? Okay, again, so they are saying it's pretty sure it's fall in the genus um, Tridescansia, and the top suggestion is Tridescansia spatacea. Um, you can click on that. You can compare their photos. So you notice they have, what, flowers? That's my photo to the top. A leaf. Oh. Yeah, so that's look like my plant so what I'm going to do is I'm going to accept so I'm just going to go back and click that arrow to the left the right of the um, suggestion and again we um, choose the location and the time and we click that green icon and that's how you upload plant pictures to the iNaturalist